I uh, walked, uh, was walking by, the girl just kind of out of nowhere, I guess she thought it was a good idea to, you know, kick me in the groin, and yeah, I went down for about 15 minutes or so, I was down by the bus stop, and it was, you know, uh, you don't pay much attention to somebody walking down the street, because it's not something you'd expect to come out of nowhere. Uh, you know, I didn't have much of a description for her, we, other than, you know, she's a brunette, she's like 150, 130 area, something like that. She's about 5'7", but, you know, I was just walking to McDonald's and out of nowhere, it's kind of unfortunate. Did she look crazy? Did she make eye No, like that's, that's why, you know, she was just kind of, I looked over, you know, it's just you have passing glance at somebody, you don't expect anything, you know, just kind of wandering down the street, right? So I just, you know, I figured when I got up that she was either really upset with her boyfriend or something like that, and I just happened to the first guy she had passed by or, you know, and then, um, yeah. Was she doing this to other guys on the street? Uh, from what I heard from a constable, yeah, I guess this is, I was one of the, uh, a few of the people she's done this to, I guess. I don't know if it's all the same person. They're not, you know, they haven't gotten a 100% accurate description on her because... Not many people pay attention when something like that's going to happen, you know, so. Maybe. Was she wearing high heels? Uh, yeah, they were like the, uh, ones of those thick rubber heels. Yeah, it wasn't, pre it wasn't pleasant. I actually, uh, partially ruptured my testicle and they had to remove it. So you were down for about 15 minutes. I mean, what was, what was it like? Were you trying to get up? I mean, oh, yeah. Well, it was excruciatingly painful. Like, I, I didn't know until after. I, even when I went for the MRI, they didn't know because I guess when it um, ruptured that something else filled the uh, gap from where it had happened. So they didn't know until I went in for surgery. They thought it was just going to be a quick surgery to push it back down and uh, ended up having to remove it because of the fact that it ruptured. So when, when you got back up, did you immediately come back here? I went to the doctors and, um, yeah, she said that, you know, I found it, it was up in my torso just above my uh, pelvis bone, uh, so I had to go see an MRI, and then after that I went to see a specialist, and the specialist said I'd have to go in for surgery, and they said it wouldn't, you know, it shouldn't be a big deal, it should just be, you know, a nice clean cut, push it back down, so you back up, and away you go, but apparently it had been ruptured, and uh, I guess it wasn't, they didn't want to risk it turning into a tumor, so they um, had to remove it. What did, what did the cop say to you when you reported this? Well, the one was kind of surprised. He hadn't really heard too much about it. So, um, I, I can't remember his name exactly. It was, uh, he came to the door and he was a little um, confused on what had happened. He, um, he, he wants to be this person to be found because somebody going around doing this for no reasons either got some kind of men mental instability and needs to be uh, you know looked at or you know figure out why she is doing this to people. But yeah, so he said you know he's going to keep me up to date when things happen. If they find her, you know, he wants to know if I will testify and I will because this is you know quite a traumatic thing to have happen to you. But they had told you that other people. Yeah, there was uh, two or three or four other people, I can't remember exactly, that had happened, had this happen to him recently, not just in this area, but down towards, you know, the down towards the casino and stuff like that. Um, one of them had happened at night, so he didn't get much of a look at who it was. Um, the worst part is the actual having to lose it, because, lose it, you know, they were worried that at first if I would be able to have kids or not, afterwards because of the fact of losing it but they you know the other one I guess they said was perfect condition so they that I still had the chance to have kids uh, yeah for the first two weeks I basically did nothing but sit in a chair and lie in bed I couldn't you know if I got up it would take me five ten minutes to walk you know across the hallway just or down the hallway just to go to the bathroom and it you know had to stop and rest against things it was just it wasn't fun you know and sleeping was just, it was incredibly painful. If I rolled over wrong or moved my leg, it would just, you know, all of a sudden get a sharp shooting pain and wake up in the middle of the night. And even with the morphine and T3s, it had no effect whatsoever on that.